Just wondering if anybody really understands what the caption is actually saying. It's saying Maroon Sovereign B. Well, the recent um, action inside of com a compound town seems to attack Parliament in some ways and allow them to respond out of control. <laughs> So this kind of response, maybe they were expecting to happen somewhere about 2030, but really it happens at uh, 2021, nine years before the big celebration of the 42 World Bank conglomerates manipulating what was Jamaica, now the new maroon sovereign state. Maroon Sovereign B stung U.S. genocide before Jamaica's 2030 military environmentalism celebration. Welcome to the Aquarian Age of Universal Transformation to Aya Maroon Indigenous People's Consciousness of Rastology. Our 21st century new philosophy. To better understand the true story behind Jamaica's government 2030 Anansism theory, one would need to start with the unspoken 1991 UN intervention and therefore revisiting of some 11,900 land treaties, including our now questionable Maroon Treaty. Surprisingly, our Maroon Treaty was also discovered among world-class examples, exhibiting one of the most outstanding sovereign credibility. That prestigious global acknowledgement of the highest humanitarian court of the international world community bears three organic fruit. One perpetuation of historic sovereign treaty. Two, United Nations certification of Jamaica's indigenous people's status with mandate to commence new indigenous people's sovereign states from St. Thomas in the east to Negril Point. Three, end of British colonial monarchical rule. The United Nation mandate for Maroon to commence the creation of new indigenous people free sovereign state was supported by the unspoken reality of the two monumental Maroon land lease made to King George II of England, France and Ireland by our sovereign lord Eligimo Kojo in the late 1700s had became to a perpetual end. Based on this now renewed Maroon Treaty status officiated before the ILO Indigenous Peoples Court, the United Nations had given the Queen of England stroke Jamaican government only a period of 40 years on September 5, 1991 to totally complete her monarchical rule over Jamaica. For two million dollars, I bet not one of our so-called intellectual in academia can now tell how the government 2030 vision evolved. Calculate from September 5th, 1991 to 2030 and the total will be 40 years. Just to say goodbye. Calculate this year's day 2030 from the United Nations recommended 40 years. We will end up with the rem remainder of nine years. In the meanwhile, neither the Jamaican government and or the United Nations had not in the, li in the light of law make this very vital and strategic information officially or unofficially available to the wider Jamaican public. That subversion 
of the Jamaican Constitution left us standing at the crossroads of genocide. As a result, we are walking blindly into our very own destruction of globally known neocolonialism, neo secondary slavery. The neocolonial brand of secondary slavery is expected to last for another 400 years. This mark of 400, this mark 400 years of slavery is commonly known in the fundamentals of Rastafarian doctrine, whereby Jamaica is referred to as Egypt, and the Rastafarians were in 400 years of colonial enslavement that would end at the now transitory period before the beginning of this new millennium. Many wise mind and truth seekers have long shared this same Zionist viewpoint. No wonder why our dear Bob Marley says that men and people will fight you down when you see the light. In this light of global conspiracy, a similar government 2020 Egyptian slavery phenomena that is expected to also last another 400 years is presently unfolding in over 60 new indigenous people countries, including Jamaica, targeting the robotic chip enslavement to approximately 400 million indigenous people globally. Approximately 30 of these United Nations certified indigenous people new state, including Nicaragua, Brazil, and Venezuela, have actually completed the process of moving from once colonial status to their new free sovereign indigenous people state. No one is saying it is easy to guide this unfolding just the way the United Nations had actually mandated. Stand up and fight for your right. Do not lie to yourself that this respective leader stroke Prime Minister would be humanitarian enough to sign or ratify the United Nations ILO 169 Convention letting the population loose from their genocidal colonial bungling. What is even ironic about this new Millennium 2030 Anansiism is that the respective Prime Ministers has been proven the most beneficent brother and Nancy among parliamentarians drinking the blood of uninformed indigenous people's community. Things are expected to be worsened, especially during the rest of the nine years countdown to complete the total United Nations transitory period of the Queen colonial rule here in Jamaica. With this government intention to send the fool a little further, a persuasive and extravagant flagship of sovereignty is constantly being waved in the eyes of the people. But in our case, we are truly in need of a blood and sign sovereign treaty with a recommended 350 years indigenous people criteria before the United Nations ILO. Now, let's not fool ourselves. Regardless of your colonial gut feeling, only one place such ancestral heritage document can be found is in the house of the unconquerable Maroons and by extension the rest of the three UN indigenous peoples group. Be very much prepared to diplomatically avoid the floodgate of high-tech political information designed by the 42-plus World Bank conglomerates illegally exploiting our now very fragile sovereign environment. In the facilitation of overseas invasion, the Jamaican government is bent on telling you the Maroon Treaty had lost its full capacity to gain to again give birth to our new nation ambition, nation state ambition. How can a dead maroon sovereignty rise to sting British colonial parliament after parliament was also protected by its supernatural protection 
of imbalanced media landscape, a brutal police force, and a cascading waterfall of British miseducated professors seeking colonial amnesty from poverty at the university. UWI. While so many explain that recent Chief Curry's action was an experimental in the manipulation of cockpit country politics that got out of control, I am more convinced his action was spiritual, leading to the manifestation of Aquarian Age in the sense that the government hush on import and the importance national responsibility in relation to the extreme poor constitutional acceptance of indigenous people rights that had been woefully brushed aside for so so long suddenly find incubate rebirth How can this government blindfold a nation from looking at the gleaning reality surrounding the fact? It's the very infinite fundamentals of the, the 1738-39 historic Maroon Treaty that gives this country its indigenous people's status. Many still believe the Queen had owned Jamaica. For the benefit of the doubters, research the gleaner. The year 20. 12. There was an unforgettable front page article entitled, Give Us Back the Queen. Since then and beyond, she, the British Crown, has been playing a Nazism with our minds. I am predicting that this Kabbalistic rebirth in the quest for in the quest to gain our ancestral sovereign re resilience to once and for all take into serious consideration remaining nine years countdown to complete ratification of this our United Nation mandated indigenous people law to immediately protect this country. We must not fail if we do not change this situation now, we would not be able to correct this millennium miss up until the next 400 years. No wonder why the United Nations indicated that all colonized populations should be re-educated before speaking or moving to build a new indigenous people community unless that responsible group has been re-educated from the traditional viewpoint and not again drink the same old colonial wine. 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 As, as, as Ed of the spoken New Indigenous People Maroon Monarchal State of Nyankopong, let me forewarn, if you should believe the Anansi is promoted by leaders of this still Jamaican sugar plantation regime propaganda that the Maroons Treaty have lost its capacity to safely take us out of the hands of British secondary robotic chip slavery, then you must still believe in that the cow really jump over the moon. <laughs> Look, ya man, now make me laugh. Now make me laugh here today. Make me go along protect three finger jack bones. This is yours truly, OG Rastology Francis, Maroon Paramount Chief and Protector of the Cockpit Country Maroon Sovereign State Law. Maroon Times Radio. Radio. Radio, 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 radio.
more persons are already calling, calling the line, giving congratulations for information we have just released that was not released to the public for over 300 years. A lot of persons say they did not know that the country was classified to be on the United States genocide. Others are saying that they did not know the treaty had such great credibility. Another set is confused, did not know that the British government, the Crown of England under King George II of England, France and Ireland did turn around and lease the lands from St. Thomas in the east to Negril Point by two major leases, represented by Governor Portland, who leased Moortown, and Governor Edward George Trelawney, who leased Unferry Town. But you were not told. And yet you want to sit to the table to discuss the future. But you can't go forward without looking backward. And British colonial history does not give you the maximum capacity from looking backwards. So you're playing the similar phenomena of Marcus Garvey's expression, a people without a knowledge of their history is like tree without roots. So this evening, my friend, I will remind you that most person says, well, you know, Rastology just like to talk and don't want to listen to anybody. Well, not really so. But when there is so much information that is hidden, that you have been researching for so many years, then you just want to bring it out to the people. Because if this much information is in the hands of the people, then of course we'll have secure in a better future. This is yours truly, OG Rastology Francis, cultural information consultant, and uh, working to make the place a more aware environment. See, people talking about war, but the greatest part of the war is before the war. And it's called awareness. And when you spell it, you get right down to it. A, A, W, A, R, A, W, A, R. Then, Ness. Awar, Ness. Awareness. So this evening in Maroon Times, you're fighting the war before the war it comes on. Supernatural intelligence to give you information classified report from Merigi Maroon Receivership Internal Vest Investigation Department releasing classified information that released to the general public in more than 300 years. This is Maroon Times Radio! If I'm not on the internet, you can get me on your stereo. I just even want to say hi to my uh, very powerful assistant inside the house. And sometimes she's the cook. And next time she's looking in the book. <laughs> Sister B. Of course, from Maroon Times Radio. I just stopped to say cheerio. How you do? Inside a brand new maroon sovereign state hushing the people who is having the experience from COVID. From the new maroon sovereign state. Trying to teach our people how not to eat from colonial plate. There was no Arawak Indian, but the Chinese did came across the Bering Strait.
say maroon have no army, maroons have no guns. But moving the mountain, I've got so much fate. I'm not afraid of the United States. Human Sheila, Three Finger Jack Monument, protecting the bones of Three Finger Jack from CMEX event invasion and so called South Coast Highway Development Project with very poor environmental procedure. All of a sudden, the National Work Agency becomes the land acquisition officer. Imbalanced procedures are taking place inside of St. Thomas. Yalas! Your neck is under gallas. <laughs>